Ten. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien, giving you the uh, Friday, the 7th of July, 4 p.m. market close update. We're down 187 at 33,735. Just to make it clear, a close under 33,590. Any day next week says we could go further down, down to the 33,300 level and the 200 period moving average. And the resistance now is very strong at 34,050. Looking at the S&P, S&P also actually was doing very well. Well, it opened down sharply and then ran up all the way to 44. 4440.39 and then gave it all back and now we're trading at 4399 so it's the same story with the S&P if the S&P starts to trade in the under 4350 then the low that was made on the uh, 26th of June of 4328 that becomes imperative to hold otherwise we go even lower and the resistance is now at today's high of the 440 area uh, we're looking at the QQQ and that's going to be fascinating because it held really well even into the close it was down 90 cents at 366.59 but the nine period moving average just like the S&P is holding very nicely above the 14 that's why I call this a process of turning down it just it couldn't happen all in one session with this nine period moving average so strong but it could happen by next week so watching closely of 35 30 yeah 30 358 is taken out you can see the low that was made on the 26 of 357 uh, I'd say under 356, and this goes quite a bit lower. IWM was very good today, gave back some, but it's still up 218 and 184.93. We'll see if the small caps can hold next week while the others take a bit of a rest. So the key support level is at 181, and a break above today's high of 186, uh, 187 would be very good. Looking at gold, gold is just trying its best to form some kind of a base, but it's a real struggle that 200 period moving average of 1936 is such strong resistance so it'll have to go to 1948 to really start to show it's got some strength but it's kind of lagging and the talk about lagging look at the the dollar smashed to the downside 86 ticks at 102.27 and look at the tlt there are a lot of negatives right on this very short term i'm looking at the daily charts telling me there's a shorter term consolidation taking place We've got to watch this closely next week. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Have a wonderful weekend, in fact. Tom will be back on Monday, and I will be back for the Tiger Digital out. Check out the Tiger dollar sale going on right now. It should be a real bargain for you. See you on Monday.